Hello Bakugan Brawlers, welcome to another Bakugan review. Today I'll be reviewing the super rare Japanese exclusive Bakugan Blast Eleko. So as you can see here, I've got Blast Eleko and his original attribute, a very cool and rare Bakugan. Um, he's a very, uh, like a tall Bakugan, you're gonna see it in a minute, popped out. Let me just say some facts about him. So basically in the show, uh, Mylene threw Eleko and Brontes out, which then later Gus found him outside the Vexo ship, which he later used a for forbidden card to involve Vulcan, Brontes and Eleko. So that's how Blast Eleko was evolved. And also in the anime, he could change his attribute to Subterra. He has a changing uh, ability. Uh, just like Preus and Elfin, but however in the real life game he can't change his attribute He's just like a regular Bakugan uh, Also that Blast, Eli Blast Eliko was uh, released in Japan on October 8th 2010 and he comes in four different attributes Aquas as the main fa uh, main attribute. He comes also in Pyrus, Ventus and Darkus Let's see his designs. So as you can see, he have he has a very uh, nice, beautiful, bright yellow stripes pattern around his uh, his clothes form. You can see a very cool look. The MG uh, represents where the magnet is located, and here is his crown. You can see a yellow circle over here. Not a lot of design just only the um, the beautiful stripes yellow stripe artwork around his body as you can see this is blast elico in his open form uh, this is without his uh, manual pieces out he has his crown that looks awesome his fist which i just noticed that you could is manual you could just um, pop them out very slightly out there we go and his tiny yellow feet which is just exposed after he's opened because when he's closed his arms his fist basically covers it so yeah there is blast Eli blast elko open and he has a printed g power of 520 g's uh, i'm not sure with the other g power for the other attributes uh, but yeah, I guess he's he might be mid-ranged compared to the other uh, Japanese exclusives that I've seen. Uh, yeah, not a lot of design, not a lot of colorful design on the inside. Just like a silver pattern around his abdomen and silver fist, yellow feet. Uh, he has like these three. Um, you could say oval shape around his stomach area very cool um, I really like his his face design is just like he's wearing a mask with red eyes it looks really it looks really powerful uh, like in the show he looks really awesome so he does represent that a lot even in the toy form and he's a really tall Bakugan compared to others he's uh, i guess almost the same height as mega brontes or mega nimbus uh, i'm talking about the same season the same season this was released uh, but there is like mika laurel contest here some other taller tall bakugan so yeah he's a very cool looking bakugan i really like his design and this is how he is on the gate card just to see a point of reference bit shorter than the gate cards gate cards length but a very cool bakugan at least to say uh, apparently he's the least rarest compared to the other japanese exclusives i mean all of the japanese exclusive bakugan are are quite rare or super rare you could say but he's the least hardest to find. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share for more awesome Bakugan content. 
And if you do, didn't know, I have also an Instagram account where I post a lot of Bakugan pictures and videos and I post a lot of stories. So be sure to check it out. The link is down below. Stay safe out there and Bakugan brawl.